So let's go ahead and get right down to the transmitter, the uh, ST3RT transmitter, and how to connect it to your 600 EXRT speed lights if you've got more than one or one itself. Just simply turn them on. As you can see, they're, uh, they're, um, this one does not have a green light on. Let's just lay that down there for a minute. This has the uh, green light. It's the all. And you'll see me change this in just a moment. I'm going to go to mode. Um, let's go ahead and click on. Right now, I've only got one green light. Let's go ahead and get these all the green lights. Simply um, hit your your little uh, flash button there, your little selector, if you will, until it turns green. You see me go through it, come back around, green again. Right there. All right. So now we've got multi units here. I'm sorry, multi flash. Let's go ahead and go through the cycle here. You see me hit mode. Let's come out of it again. The green light's on. Mode, manual, multi groups. It's going to be a lot easier to work on the groups than if you were just to go here. It would be all of them controlling at the same time, whereas I would put the power here and it would dial them all up by one stop. Coming down to zero, but I never shoot it all in one. Uh, um, and I don't even do all. I just manually add. Uh, what I do is go to manual. I'm sorry. Go back to mode. Groups. Keep pressing this until you get the groups. GR. And if there were two of them, I would just simply, let's turn on the other ones first, and I'll simply show you them all together. So let's turn this guy on. Again, hit the flash button until you get the green light. Green light, done. That's three. And here's four. All right. So as you can see, the green lights are on all four of these. Um, that means they're all ready to go right here. If you look to the right of my finger here, You'll see one, two, three. Okay, groups. <laughs> let's go ahead and get you in the right groups now. So this is, uh, let's make sure I can see this. This is um, group C. See the C there? This one says B. Was when I looked at my transmitter, I only saw three here, and it just hit me that, oh yeah, I've got to show you. This one says B also. So under CGR, I go here and change this to say A. Hopefully the next one I pick up is not A. It's A, B, C. Now let's see if this is A. It is A. No big deal. Um, tap on it until it shows D. I've got three groups. I'm, I'm sorry, four groups now. So now if you look here, this group, same thing. Group is, I would press group and scroll down. A, B, C, and D. There's D. There is no E. So I would select E. I'm sorry, D. Select. And I can increase its power by one stop, two stops. Um, whatever I want to do. And cycle back out. See, just like a computer almost, like a cell phone. Cycle back out. Now I'm at D again. If I want to control A, I'm sorry, C. I would simply go to uh, group. And it timed out on its own on that one. Select it. See, so now it's selected. Press Enter, select. That puts me over there to change the power. Up or down. Now, notice how it doesn't change on the speed light. It doesn't do that. It changes. Um, it transmits the power then. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't have to show itself here. And it does not. That was a nice little flash system you might have seen there. Anyway, um, so there you have it. It was just a test flash. It had nothing going on. No ETTL, obviously. They were just all uh, full power. You won't want to do that too many times. You can uh, burn up your flash. So simple as that for groups. Um, if you want to add two and one control, I'm sorry, let's go over. There we go. Plus or minus on A. If you want two of them to be on A, so you want to get double the power, you just simply pick up a speed light. An opposite one that's C. Now here's C here. There will be no more C after I do this. I go group A. So let's go. Okay, so what I have now is I've got one on A, one on B, 
and you see B here, there's the groups. Here's another A. And then this one's C. I mean, I'm sorry, D. We got D right here. So there is no C. So don't get confused even though you see it here. There is no C. What you see, look to the right, and you'll see the splashes next there. So it's A, B, and when I scroll down, when I see D, you'll see a flash next to it. And there's D. And let's adjust that. Enter. Do I have D on? A, B, C, D, E. Yes, D, all D's are on. Group out of there. There's D. See the little flash? But that's kind of not efficient. So you want to, um, instead of making a flash called D, do A, B, C. So let's go back to C. Now this one's C. A, B, C. So now it makes it more efficient when you're um, reviewing it. So we'll go back to groups here. I'll scroll up to the top. And let's get out of it. See the flashes? A, B, and C. Now it doesn't tell you you've got two on A. It's up to you to figure that out. Um, remember, it's press enter again. It's going to get you over one. And then select. So I've got two on A. Whatever I do on A, both of them do it um, together simultaneously. Whatever I do on B, it does singly. And C also. Um, they're, all three are set to ETTL. If I wanted to do A, in manual, I would just go group. There we go. And then it says, well, what do you want to do? There's A mode. So I'll tap it. Oh, okay, so now I put manual on, on that one at full speed. I, don't, I mean, at full um, power. Maybe I don't want that. You use a, uh, a light meter and you determine that, um, you know, if you do a few cycles of it, half power is where you want it at. Or quarter power. Press enter. Now both. A are going to be manual, manual, and B and C are going to be ETTDL. So um, this would be your backlighting more than likely. And then um, B and C would be your hair, uh, two sides of the face or subject, perhaps, or one side, however you choose to do it. Um, you can also go to B again, B mode, as you can see. Now this is, deals with distance from the speed light from the subject is the uh, EXTA. I rarely use it. I tried it once uh, a few times. If you're off with a distance where you're aiming the speed light, you'll throw the hell, um, you'll get different readings. So um, you've got ETTL, manual, and this distance one, if you will. Um, so I'll shoot ETTL and just the power myself because it's, it's more consistent. Well, it's not more consistent than manual, but it's very consistent in that um, these speed lights do a great job of giving you reproducible lighting um, at one after another. So you see all I did was air tap it twice. Um, all right, so that's it. I'm going to power this off. Now I want to show you that's off rather before this it. Now I just turned B off. So now we're just going to have A, which are two speed lights, and C. Um, if I want to scroll down, let's go ahead and cycle out, start from scratch. So B is off, A is on. C is on, but maybe I want C to be off now, so I go to group again, scroll down, and I'm at C now, and C mode, remember, or C off, so off, and back again, and menu, uh, okay, let me let me delete this now before, because these settings will stay full, locked in, and this might drive me a little crazy later if I don't, um, if I don't deal with this now, so let me go ahead and Get back to mode, um, group, scroll down to B, and turn it back on, and scroll down again just by dialing my, my, my dial here, and turn it back on. All right, hope that was helpful for people trying to figure out how to fire up these uh, transmitters, I mean the transmitter and connecting, because someone asked me a question on how do you do connected transmitter. It, you don't have to have it on the camera, you can do all your settings manually and uh, fire it up. You cannot test ETTL with this because, um, I'm sorry, if you have your camp because it's not going to be firing your camera at the same time. So for clarity, uh, you've got to have this on your camera if you plan on testing your uh, speed lights with ETTL. Uh, otherwise you can just use it manual mode to test um, your power outlets, your power. And also this is a trigger too. You can use this as a trigger. Uh, this, these guys as triggers also. Um, if you left one on the camera.